Hey everyone, here's another great Gene Krupa rhythm. This is one that I've always loved that he played. And you'll hear him play this on the tune Dark Eyes. He had a great uh, arrangement of that with his trio. And he would play this rhythm on there. You can hear him play this with his trio arrangement of Dark Eyes starting in the 1940s up until the end of his life. And you'll hear Gene Krupa play this. such a classic Gene Krupa rhythm. You've got to listen to him play it to hear the feel that he gets. Luckily, he recorded it a lot. There are some videos of him playing it as well. And just to break it down, what he's doing, it's a steady eighth note shuffle with his right hand on the floor tom. And with his left hand, he's playing dotted quarter notes on the small tom. It's a two bar rhythm that repeats. In the first bar, he's playing with his left hand on beat one, on the and of two, and beat four, and in the second bar, he's playing on the and of one and beat three. Just a real classic Gene Krupa rhythm, I think. And then check this out. This is interesting. Joe Jones had a signature rhythm of his own that he played a lot. It sounded like this. break that down, both of those patterns are the same in terms of what the hands are doing. It's exactly the same. But Joe Jones, instead of playing his right hand on the floor tom, he's playing it on the side of the floor tom on the shell. And with his left hand, instead of playing on the small tom, he's playing on the rim of the snare drum with a cross stick. So, and I don't think that one of these drummers got it from the other. I think that's just a coincidence, but it's just a fascinating thing because the first one on the tom-toms, you hear that, that just screams Gene Krupa. And then the other one on the side of the floor tom and the rim, that just screams Joe Jones. And you can hear Joe Jones play that a lot. Uh, there's a great video of him playing with Coleman Hawkins and Sweets Edison from 1964, I think. The whole video is amazing. Joe Jones has an incredible extended solo on Caravan, and he plays that at one point in that solo. But it's just so amazing. One sounds so much like Gene Krupa, the other sounds so much like Joe Jones. It's the same pattern. All that's changing is where on the drum set it's being played. So I think it just shows you how much variety you can get out of just one pattern. And then when you learn these things, if you learn it the way Gene Krupa did, you learn it the way Joe Jones played it, you can mess around with it and come up with some variations of your own. Like if you played each hand on a different cymbal. Or your right hand on the snare drum, left hand on the hi-hat. All the exact same thing, just changing where on the drum set you're placing your hands. So these can really give you a lot of different ideas and you can also come up with some exercises out of these patterns. If you hear a rhythm that you like, see how many different ways you can play around with it. If we go back to the original Gene Krupa Tom Tom version, you could keep that right hand shuffle going on the floor tom but play around with the figures you're playing with the left hand on the small tom, something like switch what the hands are doing. So you could play the shuffle with the left hand and play the dotted quarter notes with the right. I'll see if I can do that. So just with any one pattern, you can get so much variety out of it and use it in so many different ways to explore various techniques. So I think that's just another great way to be inspired by and to learn from these great drummers. Check out what they did, learn it the way they played it, and then play around with it. It's really fun. You can come up with some nice stuff. So 
definitely check out Gene Krupa and Joe Jones on these recordings where they play this. Any recording of Gene Krupa or Joe Jones is worth listening to. You really can't go wrong. So I hope this was fun. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, and I will be back soon. I've got more uh, Gene Krupa stuff planned, uh, more requests. So I'll be back soon. Thanks a lot, everybody.